Tyrese was killed early in season five, but should Scott Gimple have tried harder to keep him alive? Scott Gimple popped that Tyrese pimple. Welcome back, guys, to Fog Entertainment. Apologies there for that uh, horrific opening to this video, but you know what? Tyrese had a pretty horrifically shit death, so I think it's only fair that our intro it was also horrifically shit. But yeah, we're asking the question on Fog Entertainment six days ago. We put a poll up, was Tyrese killed too early? And obviously, it's another Walking Dead season five theory. The results are in after 248 votes. 79% of you guys believe yes, he was killed too early. 21% of you guys said no, he was killed at the right time. Right, I'm going to give my thoughts. It felt a little bit too early for me because it almost felt like his death was just for shock value. There was no real reason for him dying. I never seen his death coming and I'm not saying deaths need to be predictable. But it legit just felt like they had a death just for the sake of having a death. And then they brought back, it was almost like they brought back characters just to try and implement them into the death. To try and make the death feel bigger than it was. But the reality is, Tyrese got took out by some like 12 year old fucking walker. When was the last time we seen a main character get taken out by a walker and, and die? We haven't seen that. They attempt to save him, cutting off the arm, and he still dies. It was almost like, I don't know if they're trying to be symbolic, or Tyrese gave up. He gave up on life, therefore, even though they tried to save him, his body gave up and he still bled out. Uh, I'm not sure if that's what they were going for, but for me, surely, if they wanted to kill off Tyrese, they, they could have given him a better death. You had the, the Hunters earlier in Season 5. Uh, they were in Atlanta, surrounded by police. We have the Wolves coming up later on at the end of the season. I mean, surely Tyrese could have done something. I mean, they made a big deal out of the dehydration and the lack of water. What if they actually had someone die due to dehydration? Then all of a sudden, maybe the, the group being low on water and having limited supplies, maybe that would actually feel like a real threat. But of course, no one ever dies of dehydration. It's just a, a dumb death for me. I mean, Tyrese, how many times have they killed walkers now all of a sudden? This guy has one walker sneak up on him and take him out. I don't know. I didn't like it. I'm not saying it came too early. I just think the death was it was rushed and it wasn't necessary. Yeah, the death was rushed. You, know, you could have killed him the same way a season earlier and I would have thought the exact same thing. It's, it's not too early. It's just the whole death was handled wrong. It was just for shock value, as we said. It's just an episode where he dies. And see, like, the next episode, he's forgotten about. He, he's literally forgotten about. See, apart from Sasha killing walkers, and even then, how much is that is actually down to, like, Bob as well? Yeah, you know what? I think it would have been more symbolic, and I think it would have been better to the story had the guy from The Hunters killed him. Gareth? No, the oh, one, I, I, the I one that he let live. Yeah. I agree with that. And that would have been like Tyrese's decision to let this guy live, come back and bite him on the ass. I think it was, he's like, not Simon. Why was well, his name? He had a really weird name, but for Ty yeah, it, I, I think that makes sense. But like Tyrese is forgotten about by the next episode. Like when was Tyrese even getting another name drop? Yeah, I, to me it, was, it just did, it wasn't very good. It was it just wasn't necessary. Like deaths are deaths are good in the the aftermath, and there was no aftermath to this. He, he got he got dragged out of a car, and Rick pretended to care about him. It's pretty much what happened. And then by the end of the episode, Sasha was the only one that cared about him. So I mean that's pretty much it. But I think his death was just like Bob. His death had a pretty big impact. I think they had that scene in the church where they all kind of said goodbye, and Tyrese just got passed away like a big bag of shit. Is this the weakest main character death so far in The Walking Dead? I'm trying to think of one that was less impactful than this, and I, I just can't think of one off the top of my head. Yeah, it's the fact that like, everyone's reaction's like off screen. Even the death, it just seems so like it's surreal the way that they pull him out the car and then that's it, it just fades to black and he's gone. Yeah, but like, we don't actually get to see Sasha's reaction, it's just like the aftermath. Yeah, so for me, the, the death sucked. I'm not saying that. It was too early, but I definitely think that they could have come up with something better this than this. This could have been his first scene, or his last, like, scene in season nine. It was, still would have been an awful death. Could it be a case of it's a mid-season premiere, and they just want to try and do something big? 
Here, the next couple of episodes, we're going to be doing nothing apart from walking through the forest. So let's kill a few people off. Could be. Anyway, let's get in the comments. Let's see what you guys think. Uh, Mason Stuckey says, Tyrese's death episode was such a downer. It has some great visuals, but somehow it feels wrong. Like it shouldn't be happening and the characters are not quite themselves. With Noah not surviving much longer, it just makes the whole visit to Sherwell feel pointless. It was even his brother that bit Tyrese. That could and probably should have been talked about between Noah and Sasha or Noah and Gabriel. That detail is wasted by a lack of follow-up. Not that Noah should feel guilty, but it would have made for a more compelling plot. Also, right, sorry to interrupt, but what, what about Noah? He was like fighting with a walker on the balcony for about 15 minutes. Yeah, that was a bit cheap. Uh, every time I rewatch the show, this episode is one of the hardest to watch. It feels futile. Uh, like, Tyrese could be saved, but there's no urgency instead of an extended tense race back to the rest of the group to get him the help he needs. We get fake ghosts and conversations about how they need to find a new home. Uh, Tyrese would have been a welcome addition to the rest of season five. The wolves could have had the wolves could have killed him in Alexandria to make them more of a threat. He could have had Noah's death. Also, Beth dying right before surely filled the quota for shock deaths in the middle of season five. Maybe if more of the episode was them actively trying to save him or depict it, the initial Sasha reaction, it would feel more worth the watch. But as is, it's just such a bummer. Uh, I, I mean, I kind of agree. Look, I thought it was interesting them bringing back the governor, them bringing back the the girl, the sisters or whatnot. I can't remember their name. Uh, they also brought back Martin too, the, the guy from the, um, Terminus. Terminus. But at the end of the day, I mean, they were all like, they were just visions, um, like imaginary um, happenings inside Teresa's head. It's you need to bring the governor back for Tyrese. That is a waste of opportunity. But that, that's, that, all you're getting is that from Tyrese's point of view. That was Tyrese's imagination. None of that shit actually happened. When you break it down, what actually happened, Tyrese got bit. It took about 15 minutes for someone to try and come and find him. And then he died. I mean, Rick doesn't know, Daryl doesn't know about the governor coming back because he didn't come back. Yeah, it, it was It was just part of... It was just part of fucking Tyrese's imagination. Even Rick imagined, like, Shane and Herschel. Could he not have had, like, you know, instead of the angel on the shoulder? Could he have had the devil on the shoulder? And he could have imagined, like, the governor during that episode where he gets taken away by a helicopter? I think the governor appearing for Tyrese, considering they had, like, one conversation, is a fucking waste. Yeah, anyway, uh, Otto said, I'm more annoyed at how they killed them rather than the fact that they did. They needed, they needed many character deaths before they got to Alexander to show the hopelessness the group got in, but the episode where Tyrese died was bad in my opinion. I'm not asking for every character to get a hero's death, but just randomly bitten and talking to a ghost was just weird. Cool seeing the governor again, though. I agree, it was cool seeing the governor again. I just think that they could have brought him back in a you know a better scenario. If you haven't read the Walking Dead comics and spoiler one, Tyrese dies during the battle for the prison, so it's not like I'm annoyed they killed him while he was still alive in the comics. Also, Tyrese in the comics is way cooler than Tyrese in the show. Yeah, for me, Tyrese in the show is just a bit of a bummer. I I don't see how anyone can think, wow, Tyrese is one of my favourite characters. He's like a little bitch. Just he's like scared to do anything. And it's almost like female empowerment. It's like they had to make Sasha the strong one at the two. Could be. Uh, Tyrese was amazing in the comics. I think he got a decent death in it. Midnight Black Rose says, Tyrese was far more badass in the comics. Surviving the zombie filled gym with a hammer is iconic in my opinion. They neutered him in the show, so killing him didn't really matter. I mean, yeah, by the time... See, when he died in the show, I wasn't even thinking, wow, that's a, no, that's a big death. I just, I just felt like, okay, <laughs> who cares? Uh, Temp, anyway, it's a good actor they got as well. Like, it's a shame they fucking shaft him. Uh, Temp says, tell that to Sasha. I'm not going to lie, I can't even remember much about her. I believe she was a TV exclusive with Tyrese's daughter, Julie, in the TV show. Uh, nope, no Julie. So also no boyfriend, Chris. Instead, we got TV exclusive Sasha, who sucked until season seven. No, uh, season six. Sucked. Yeah, I think she sucked in general. I mean, you can say she sucked until season six, but... I mean, I don't, I don't recall a major improvement in Sasha come season six. Here, I hope I'm wrong because right now <laughs> this show needs major improvements. So if some characters are going to step up in season six, I will gladly accept that. But I just don't see us all of a sudden enjoying Sasha as we get into season six and seven. Anyway, guys, look, that's it. Uh, Tyrese's death was it killed too early? I mean, I'm fine. If Therese had lasted longer, I wouldn't have cared. If he'd have died earlier, I wouldn't have cared. If he'd have died at the point he died at, I would not have cared. My issue with Tyrese's death is the actual death itself. 
it, it just felt like a random fucking death to try and maybe create a little bit of shock value. I think they could have did something more important with his death. Like I said, they did have Martin come back. Martin was still alive. Tyrese lied. He said he killed Martin, but Martin was still breathing. Like maybe Tyrese should have been the one to die back at the church instead of Bob. I'm not too sure, although Bob had to have the whole tainted meat thing. But why couldn't they kill Bob and Tyrese? And that could have been like a double blow to Sasha. Could Tyrese not have had the tainted meat thing? No? Could that not have happened? Yeah, but how does that really affect... What's that? That's got no effect with Martin then. If Tyrese is tainted meat, then he's tainted meat. If Martin's dead or alive. I'm on about the fact that Tyrese lied about killing Martin. That could have come back to get him killed. But if Tyrese is tainted meat, then he's dead. Well, he killed Martin or didn't kill Martin. See, I think with the Walking Dead, I think they've got like a, a, a kind of a gimmick where they kind of almost forget what happened in the first half of the season. Well, I'm not forgetting because it's shit. Well, that's true. And but again, not... I agree with the comment earlier, though, but Beth, it's like she just died. What was the real need of actually killing Tyrese off? It's just like you're 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 going, you're playing your game, next minute batteries are dead, controller. You, you, know, you, you, you get a time skip, right? I think it's like two weeks after the offense of Coda. Tyrese dies and you get another three weeks. I don't like time skips after a death. I mean, I think we need to see the initial reaction. But oh, that's uh, the importance. But yeah. Anyway, RIP Tyrese, but uh, you suck, big man. You're much better in the wire, Shane Coleman. That's for yeah, sure. Yeah, till next time. Peace.